Live from San Jose, in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE, covering DataWorks Summit 2018. Brought to you by Hortonworks. Welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of DataWorks here in sunny San Jose, California. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, James Kobielis. We're joined by Dan Potter. He is the VP Product Management at Attunity, as also Ali Bajwa, who is the Principal Partner Solutions Engineer at Hortonworks. Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. Pleasure to be here. It's great to be here. So I want to start with you, Dan, and have you tell our viewers a little bit about the company based in, in Boston, Massachusetts, yep. <laughs> uh, what, what Attunity does. Attunity, uh, we're a data integration vendor. We're best known as a, a provider of real-time data movement from transactional systems into data lakes, into clouds, into streaming architectures. Uh, so it's a really, it's a modern approach to data integration. So as these, these core transactional systems are being updated, we're able to take those changes and move those changes where they're needed, when they're needed, uh, for analytics, for new operational applications, for a variety of, of different tasks. So change you have data a, capture. Yep. Change data capture. They, they are well known in this space. They are change data capture. Go <laughs> we ahead. are. Yep. So, so tell us about the announcement today that Attunity has made it's at a, the Hortonworks. Yeah, conference. thank you. It's it's a, it's a great announcement because it it uh, showcases the collaboration between Attunity and Hortonworks, uh, and it's all about taking the metadata that we capture in that integration process. So we're a piece of of uh, you know of a data lake architecture. Uh, as we're capturing changes from those source systems, we're also capturing the metadata. So we, we understand the source systems, we understand how the data gets modified along the way. Uh, we use that metadata internally, uh, and now we're built extensions to share that metadata into Atlas and to be able to extend that out through Atlas to higher data governance initiatives. So Data Steward Studio, uh, into the data plane services. So it's really important uh, to be able to take the metadata that we have and to add to it the, the metadata that, that's from the other sources of information. Sure, for right. more of the transactional semantics and what Hortonworks has been describing and they've baked in to HDP and your overall portfolio, is that, is that true? I mean, that yeah. supports those kinds of yeah, requirements. So with yeah, with HDP what we're seeing is, uh, you know, the uh, EDW optimization play has become more and more important for a lot of customers as they uh, try to, you know, optimize what the data that their EDWs are working on. So it really, you know, gels well with what we've done here with Attunity. And then on the Atlas side, with the integration on the governance side, with GDPR, and other sort of regulations coming into the play now, you know, those sort of things are become more and more important, um, you know, specifically around the governance initiative. We actually have a talk just on uh, Thursday morning where we're actually showcasing the integration as well. So can you talk a little bit more about that for those who aren't going to be there for Thursday? GDPR was really a, a big theme at the uh, Berlin DataWorks event. Berlin oh, yeah. event, yeah. And, um, and now we're in this new era, and it, it's not talked about too, too much. I mean, and, we've, and global businesses who have customers in the EU, but also all over the world, are trying to be systematic and, and are consistent about how they manage PII everywhere. So GDPR, though, is an EU regulation. Mm -hmm. Really, in many ways, it's having ripple effects across the world in terms of practices. Absolutely. Yeah. And at the heart of, of understanding how you protect yourself and, and comply, yeah. I need to understand my data. And that's where metadata comes in. So having a holistic understanding of all of the data that resides in, in your data lake or in your cloud, metadata becomes a key, a key part of that. And also in terms of enforcing that, if I understand my customer data, where the customer data comes from, the lineage from that, then I'm able to apply uh, the protections of the masking on top of that data. So it's, it's really, the GDPR effect has had, uh, you know, it's created a broad scale need for organizations to really get a, a handle on metadata. So the timing of our announcement just works, works real well. And one nice thing about this integration is that, um, you know, it's not just about, um, being able to capture the data in Atlas, but now you, with the integration of Atlas and Ranger, you can do enforcement of policies based on uh, classifications as well. So if you can you know, tag data as PCI, PII, personal data, uh, that can get enforced through Ranger to say that, hey, only certain admins can access you know, certain types of data. And now all that becomes possible once we've taken the initial steps of the Atlas integration. So with, with this collaboration, it's really deepening an existing relationship. So how do you go to market? How, how do you collaborate with each other and then also service clients? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so from an engineering perspective, uh, you know, we've got deep roots in terms of being a, a first class provider into the Hortonworks platform, both HDP and HDF. 
Um, last year, about this time, we announced our support uh, for uh, ACID merge capabilities. So the, the leading edge work that Hortonworks has done in bringing ACID uh, compliance capabilities into Hive was a really important one. Uh, so our change data capture capabilities were able to feed directly into that and be able to, to, to support those, uh, those extensions. Um, yeah, we have a lot of you know uh, really key customers together with uh, Attunity, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, you know maybe as a result of that, they are actually our ISV of the year uh, as well, which they proudly uh, showcased on their. <laughs> we're, very, <laughs> we're, we're very proud of that. Yeah, no, yeah. it's a it's a nice honor to uh, yeah. for us to to get that distinction from Hortonworks, and it's also a proof point to the to the collaboration that we have commercially. Yeah. You know, our sales reps work uh, hand in hand. Yeah. Uh, when we go into to a large organization, we both sell to very large organizations. These are you know, big transformative uh, initiatives for these organizations and they're looking for solutions, not technologies. Yeah. So the fact that we can come in, uh, we can show the proof points from other customers that are successfully using our joint solution, um, that's, that's really, it's, it's critical. And now. I think it helps that they're you know, integrating with some of our key technologies because you know, that's where our sales force and our customers really see you know, that as well as that, that's where we're putting in the investment and that's where these guys are also investing so it really you know, helps uh, the story together. So yep. with Hive, we're doing a lot of investment on making it closer and closer to a, um, a sort of a you know, real-time database where you yes. can combine historical insights as well as your you know, real-time insights uh, with the new asset merge capabilities where you can do the inserts, updates, and deletes, and so that's exactly what uh, Attunity is integrating with. With Atlas, we're doing a lot of investments there. That's exactly what these guys are in integrating with. So I think our customers and uh, prospects really see that, and that's where all the wins are coming from. Yeah, and I think together, there were, there were two main barriers that we saw in terms of, of customers getting the most out of their data lake investment. You know, one of them was, uh, as, as I'm moving data into uh, my data lake, I need to be able to put some structure around this, I need to be able to handle continuously updating data from multiple sources, and yep. that's, you know, that's what we introduced with uh, Attunity Compose for Hive, building out the structure in an automated fashion, so I've got analytics ready data, and using the asset merge capabilities just made those updates uh, much, more, much, much easier. The second piece was metadata. Business users need to have confidence that the data that they're using, right. where did this come from, how is it modified, uh, and you know, Overcoming both of those is really helping organizations make the most of those investments. How would you describe customer attitudes right now in terms of the, the their approach to data? Because, I mean, as we've talked about, their data is data is the new oil. So yep. they, there's a, there's a real excitement and a buzz around it, and yet there's also so many high-profile cases of breaches and, and and security concerns. So what would you say? Is, is it that the customers are they more excited or are they more trepidatious? How would you describe the the CIO mindset right now? So I think security and governance has become you know, top of minds, right? So more and more, the, the surveys that we've taken with our customers, right? Uh, you know, more and more customers are more concerned about security, they're more concerned about governance. The joke is that we talk to some of our customers and they keep talking to us about Atlas, which is sort of one of the newer offerings around governance that we have, but then we ask, hey, what about Ranger for enforcement? They're like, oh yeah, that's a standard now for Hadoop, <laughs> right? So right. Uh, we have Ranger, now it's a question of, you know, how do we get our uh, you know, uh, hooks into the Atlas and all, all that kind of stuff. So it's, yeah, definitely, as you mentioned, you know, because of GDPR, because of all these, um, uh, kind of issues that, that have happened, uh, it's definitely become top of mind. It, and I would, I would say the other side of that is there's real excitement as well about right. the, the possibilities. Now, bringing together all of this data, AI, machine learning, real-time uh, analytics and, and real-time visualization, there's capabilities, analytic capabilities now that organizations uh, have never had. So there's right. great excitement, but there's exactly. also trepidation. You know, how do we how do we right. solve for both of those? And and together we're we're doing just that. But Our, as, as you mentioned, like because of like you know, if you look at Europe, some of the European uh, companies who are more hit by GDPR, they're yes. actually excited that now they can you know, really get to understand their data more and do yes. you know, better things with it as a, as a result of you know, the GDPR initiative. Absolutely. Right? Are you using uh, machine learning inside of Attunity in a Hortonworks context to find patterns in that data um, so we, so what we in do real is, time. is no, we, so we right. enable data scientists to build those models. Yeah. So we're bringing, to, we're, we're not only bringing the data together, but again, part of the announcement last year is, is the way we structure that data in Hive. We provide a complete historic data store. So every single transaction that has happened, and we send those yes. transactions as they happen, um, it's in a big append. 
So uh, if you're a data scientist, I want to understand the complete history of the transactions of a customer yeah. to be able yeah. to build those models. Yeah. Uh, so building those out in Hive and making those analytics ready in Hive, that's what we do. So yeah. we're a key enabler yeah. to machine learning. Making yeah. analytics ready the, rather the other than doing the analytics in the Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. other side to that is that you know, because they're integrated with Atlas, um, you know, now we have a new capability called uh, Data Plane and yeah. Data Steward Studio. So that's the idea there is around multi everything, right? So more and more customers have multiple clusters. It's whether it's on-prem in the cloud. So now they're, you know, more and more customers are looking at how do I get a single gl glass pane of view across all my data, right? Whether it's on-prem in the cloud, whether it's IoT, whether it's data at rest, right? So that's where Data Plane comes in, and with the Data Steward Studio, which is our second offering on top of Data Plane, they can kind of get that uh, view across you know, all, all their clusters. So as soon as you know, the data lands from Attunity uh, into Atlas, you can get a view into that uh, you know, across uh, as part of Data Steward Studio. And one of the nice things we do in Data Steward Studio is that we also have ma machine learning models to basically figure out, to do some profiling, to figure yeah. out that, hey, this looks like a credit card, so uh, maybe I should suggest this as a tag uh, of a sensitive data. And now the end user, the end admin administration has the option of you know, saying that, okay, yeah, this is a credit card, I, I, I'll accept that tag, or they can reject that and you know, pick one of their own choosing. Will any of this going forward of the Attunity CDC change data capture capability be containerized for deployment to the edges in, the, in HDP 3.0? Because it seems like for, I mean, for you know, Internet of Things, edge analytics and so forth, change data capture is absolutely necessary to make the entire, some call it the fog computing, or cloud or whatever, to make it a completely transactional environment for all applications from micro endpoint to micro endpoint. Are there any plans to do that going forward? Yeah, so I think with HTTP3, as you mentioned, right, one of the key factors uh, that was coming into play was around time to value. So yeah. with containerization, now being able to easily bring third party apps on top of Yarn through Docker. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's definitely an avenue that uh, we're looking at. Yeah, as, we're, uh, we're excited yeah. about that with, with 3.0 as well. So yeah. that's definitely in the cards for us. Yeah. Great, well Ali and Dan, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE, it's, it's fun to have you here. Nice to be here, thank you guys. Great yeah, to thank have you, it was a pleasure. I'm Rebecca Knight for James Kobielus, we will have more from DataWorks in San Jose just after this.